Hey guys, today we're going to be making a meal from the pantry. I have one of my meat birds that I processed that we're going to cook in the smoker. I've got squash. We're going to make some squash patties and green beans. And I'll probably do either biscuits or cornbread. I'm not quite sure which one I want to do yet. But if you're interested, stay along with me. Thanks for watching. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is mix up our rub for our um, chicken. All right, the first thing we're going to add in is three tablespoons of brown sugar. Just a little more. We have one of them quite as full. Then we're going to do a teaspoon of onion powder. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Two tablespoons of smoked baked paprika. Actually, I'm going to do three. Um, a teaspoon of garlic. Two teaspoons of cumin. And about a half a, a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. All right, let, we're gonna mix this all up. Break up that brown sugar. It all smells really good. Okay, guys, I'll bring you back when I get ready to put it on the chicken. All right, we're going to have dried it off. And we're just going to sprinkle this on top. All right, I'll bring you back when we get outside to the smoker. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is turn on my gas tank. I'll give it time to get over to the grill. It's kind of windy out here. All right, I'm gonna turn it to light it. sure we're lit. Yep. All right. With our tent start building. All right, I've got water and vinegar in the water container. And below that is my little wood where my apple wood is. And it's been soaking in water for about two hours. There's about four pieces in there. So I'm gonna let this heat up and then I'm gonna bring the chicken out. Okay, the next part of my meal is gonna be these yellow squash. These were canned in 18. But look, they're still solid, they look good. I want you to listen to Show that good seal. Smells good. Same for the other one. 
good seal. Now I'm gonna drain this juice all into another container from both of these. I'll be right back. Now I've poured the strain ones into my little colander here. It's, you see, not much bigger than my hand. But they still have a lot of liquid in them. So I just wanna mash them up a little bit. This will help the liquid drain out of them. I just want to get the bigger chunks kind of mashed up a little bit. All right. Now we're just going to take these and set them in the refrigerator and let them set for probably an hour or two until I get ready to cook the rest of our meal. And see, we've already got liquid here in the bottom. I don't know how good you can see it. Here, let me take it out and you can see. So I've already got that much. So we're gonna stick it in the fridge and I'll bring you back. Okay, our, we're already up to 250. So I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna put our chicken in. Well, I'm trying to do it breast side down because I want the, all the juices to stay. On the breast. I'm going to kind of try to dab a little more of this on this side. Kind of come off. come back and check it probably about an hour see where we're at and I'll bring you back all right guys just brought the chicken in the breasts were about 170 the thighs are about 180 so I'm pretty it's it's pretty done. So I'm just going to wrap it up and let it sit for about 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15, 30 minutes uh, while I get the rest of the food fixed. Okay, we've got it wrapped with tin full. Now we're going to start work on our squash patties. Right. Mash our little squash patties a little more. Well, not the squash patties, but the squash. Okay, that's pretty good. Now let me get a bowl to mix in. And that's how much we had lit water that still drained out. All right, let me get my ingredients and I'll bring you back. All right, so for my spices, I'm doing half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic, granulated garlic, and a half a teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. And we're going to add one egg. And I'm going to start with about 10 of the little round crackers, like your townhouse Ritz, which whatever you want to use. You can use breadcrumbs, saltine crackers. This is just what I have on hand. We'll start with 10 and we'll see what our mixture looks like.
Still a little dry. Not dry, but moist. This is still a little moist, so I'm going to add in about a handful of cheese. It's probably a little bit over a fourth cup. We'll mix that in. Now, I don't always add the cheese. It just depends on what mood I'm in. five more crackers and your breadings all going to depend on how moist your um, squash are you just want them to be able to hold together and you put them in the pan. I think that looks pretty good. All right, I'll bring you back when I get my pan warmed. Okay, I've got about a tablespoon of oil in my cast iron pan and I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of bacon drippings in just for seasoning instead of my other tablespoon of oil we're going to be adding in our green beans these i canned in 2020 they both have good seals smell good they still look good. I'm going to drain this off. And we're going to put our beans in our pot. To these, I'm going to add a teaspoon of minced garlic that's dried. And two teaspoons of minced onion. back to this one pint of just water and we're going to let them cook and simmer get everything stirred and I've got these on about medium high so I'm going to let them cook till this water cooks down so i'm going to find my lid and cover those up all right we've let our squash set and it's kind of absorbed the bread the crackers have absorbed that excess water so we're going to dip them over with our scoop Now your squash are already cooked, so really all you're doing is you're going to be letting it get brown on one side. So I'm going to let these cook, and when we get brown, I'll bring you back. Why do you think so? Because we want you. All right, let's flip them over.
on the beans. They're boiling away. Alright guys, these are done. I'm going to take them out if I don't tear them all to pieces. Clean my little pan up a little bit, and then I'm gonna cook the other two, and um, that's it. Just um, fry them up till they're good and golden brown, and that's all it is to it. They're really simple to make, and they're really delicious. All right, let me get these others fried up. Okay, I've uncovered the beans. I'm gonna put it in. A pinch of sugar. A pinch of salt, because they had salt when I canned them. And a little bit of fresh ground pepper. Stir them up. And I'm going to leave the lid off now because now I'm going to start cooking down the water out of them. Same temp. Just cooking it down. I just letting you see how the water's cooked down. I'm going to stir these in just a second. But first I'm going to put... My ready to serve long grain and rice in the microwave for, for I'm gonna put it in the microwave for 90 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna stir these up. This is about where I want them. So I'm just going to put the lid on and we're gonna turn that off and we're gonna let them sit till we're ready to eat. Alright. Slice of me off a little of the chicken. I'm just about to pull away. Alright, let me get my plate. Alright. Get some of the rice. Part of our chicken breast. Three of our patties. And some of our green beans. Okay guys, that's everything. I'll bring you over when I get to the table. Guys, there's the final plate. I just put a little teriyaki sauce on the top of my chicken. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.